What up, people? The Audio Grill here again with some World at War gameplay for you. Using the double barrel shotgun with. What parts am I using? Bomb Squad, because getting bounced and baited is a pain in the ass, because they're really difficult to see. Uh, sleight of Hand, because you don't really need stopping power with this bad boy, and it takes forever to reload without Sleight of Hand. What's the last one? Extreme Conditioning, so I can get my flank on. Even though it's a small map. Usually with a shotgun, well, usually with any gun, you really want to take to the flanks and uh, get the enemy when they're not expecting. There was a quick collateral to start off my, uh, I think it's a 20 kill streak with a double barrel shotgun, which is quite impressive. Quite impressive, I may say so myself. Um, I really like using this gun. I really like using guns which aren't top of the range. I won't call them overpowered. Okay, I'll call them overpowered. Like the <laughs> like uh, the MP40 uh, jug. I, I have one of the... I have On every Call of Duty game, you know there's the overpowered gun. Call of Duty 4, you got the M16. Uh, this game, World at War, you've got the MP40. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, what have you got? You've got the FAMAS, the TAR. Well, not so much the TAR. Because uh, the actually does fuck up a little at long range. We'll just say the FAMAS. Uh, Black Ops. FAMAS again. <laughs> um, but in every game I always have one class. Just to prove to people that I can be a bigger dickhead than them. If they start shit. That's basically all I use them for. But I, I don't like to use generic classes. I like to mix things up with the double barrels. And uh, really enjoy it. You get a better sense of accomplishment. And you feel like you... If I got this score, which I get in this game, I think it finishes off as 32, 2 assists and 5 deaths. If I got that with the MP40, I, I wouldn't be happy with myself. Because it's nothing impressive. I mean, anyone could do it. But if you put on a double barrel or something which takes a little bit more skill, um, you know, you, you get a better sense of accomplishment. Hit marker! Ends my fucking streak! Right there, stabbing bar would have been nice, but again, yeah, that's what happens. I'd rather have faster reload and over the top of this. Um, what else should I talk about? Well, people who are sub to me, they know I'm not the best commentator. Um, well, I'm not really a commentator. I, I, you know, I upload the highlight reel and little clips and funny clips here and there, and I've tried the odd commentary, but if you look at my past videos, I've taken most of them down because I don't, I don't really enjoy them. I'm not a comfortable speaker, um, but I do want to become better, and that's one of the main reasons I started this channel, which is weird, because I didn't attempt to make any commentaries. So some commentaries might suck, but that's how you get better at things in life, guys. You are allowed to make mistakes, and you're allowed to fuck some things up, and you always learn from it. So I don't know what the hell I was thinking by leaving the whole commentary thing aside, which is one of the main reasons I started my channel. That's a really, really dumb mistake I made. Um, I think I'm going to try more to make commentaries. I have another sitting on my hard drive, which I'm tempted to upload, but I'm really, really, really picky with which videos I upload. Um, that's why I only upload once a week, usually. Is because during that week I'll render two or three and then I'll just delete them because I don't think they're up to standards. But if you would like to see me attempt more commentaries, or if you like this one, please give me some feedback. That'd be pretty fucking awesome. So, anyway, that's the end of this game. I hope you enjoyed uh, some shotgun action, and I will catch you guys in my next commentary or next video. Whatever. See you later.